they have 15 strength cold res and like oh they're so all right so for today i want to show off my uh, hardcore paladin which started out as a fist of heavens and i now changed over to a hammer man right so this build in my opinion is pretty much one of the best setups you can run in hardcore um, or one of the more safe ones just from um getting all the damage reduction getting a bunch of max res and and, and um, having a decent amount of damage 11k is not super super high but it's not low either it's enough to where you can clear pretty decent um, i'll do a, a chaos run real quick to show off how fast you can clear gas but it's really nice i, lo I love this build um, even though you have the cold sword this season that are absolutely broken in my opinion like completely fucking ridiculous and we have needed a reset for pretty much a month now it's uh this build is, is what i would use personally if i was or going for 99 as I am um, but yeah let me go over the stats real quick so we have 259 poison 234 lightning we have uh, 229, 229 on the cold and we have 264 on the fire um, which is enough to where if I get hit with lower res or a conviction I'll still be max so that that's my main uh, concern with this is having max res and having a decent amount of damage reduction and um, now he has less life but all the safety from the gear doesn't it doesn't really matter that much when you have all that safety um, so we have 35 percent damage reduction um, we have replenished life attacker takes damage we have a little bit of magic find a little bit of gold find from Enigma and a couple other things, and we have um, 95 faster hit recovery, which is enough, I feel like. 125 faster cast, which is the breakpoint for a uh, Hamadan, the highest breakpoint. And um, yeah, let's let's check the gear out real quick. So I'm rocking a 31 Hodo, not the best I did, but it doesn't really matter since I'm stacking that much resistances. I'm using a pair of Mage Fist. I haven't upped them yet, but I will um, on a later date. I'm using a faster cast ring with some all res, a little bit of strength, a little bit of magic find. And another faster cast with all res. And then we got a 14 Dungos with 40 vitality, 40 life, and the damage reduction, which is, and the faster hit recovery, so that all stack. We have a Wormhide Enigma and a not the best Crown of Ages, but it's good enough. I put a um, Virus and minus um, Requirement Jewel in it, so uh, that way I don't have to have 180 a uh, 78 uh, strength to wear it. I can do it with a 148, which fits really nicely with using Enigma and. Uh, and my um, my strength ring right here, and then I got a two pally ten faster cast, which is also necessary in order to hit the breakpoint of the 125 with this setup. And of course a spirit, as uh, a 41 base could have been a little bit better. And then I use infernos for the uh, 30 fire res, the 10 maximum fire res, which is really the main point of using these. So because for me, it's most mostly fire res is is the main part I want on him on him. Like I don't feel like the souls are nearly as dangerous with them as the um, pit lords or the the the, um, the dolls. The dolls are really the the main enemy you want to look out for, and you don't want to fight at all. Um, that cost me my first pally, which I've just passed right now. Uh, so he was also like level 94 and then I died to one doll um, and I had really good gear on and I blue streamed and died at the same time so m my character or my account left the game and nobody got to pick up my item so I lost everything my 10 Annie my 
nice chords and everything. Um, but yeah, it's this setup is, is it, it feels really nice. And then I'm using a couple of combat skillers, no lifers though, um, a 15 RS, and we got a Keats. We have a nine Annie, which is what I went for. Uh, getting a new one, which is a ten. Um, I don't really care too much about the attributes in the all res because I'm already stacking a ton. And we got a decent pallet torch. And then we have a couple of uh, lifer resist and uh, those kind of things for the small charms, which is my preferred things to wear in, in hardcore. Uh, and of course, I got a semi decent CTA and a bow spirit, real quick, on the other hand. And um, let's go over the skills real quick. So I'll explain why I've done what I've done. Of course, you'll fill out the hammers. You fill out the, uh, the concentration, and you fill out the vigor and the blessed aim to maximize your damage on the hammers. I put one point into fanaticism, which I use on wave two, since using a Thunder Charm, in my opinion, is not worth it at all for, for magic or physical and barely worth it for lightning and, and, and poison. It's really just meant for fire and cold build, in my opinion. That's what really benefits from the Thunder Charm, so for that reason I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to use this. But I used the Fanaticism for Wave 2, so I put that on and I keep my hammers going, so I kill all the skelety skeletons um, and my mercenary will then take out the rest with fanaticism on he, he m hits them a lot faster and he's staying alive and he's killing them pretty fast so it's not too bad and then I always have cleansing on as a skill I can switch to so after wave 2 dies I put on cleansing I get the remove the poison or if I'm doing um, chaos for instance I'll put it on if I get lower res before I hit the, the last seal so in case they spawn with uh, not fanaticism. In case it's spawned with conviction, and I'm already lower res, then I'll then I'll go negative on the reses, and I don't want that, so I'll put on cleansing to remove the negative effects, right? The the, the curse, and then I have one point into redemption, and the reason for that is I'll switch to redemption when I have cleared the bail room and there's no more enemies and the, the before the waves spawn. I'll go around with redemption on, absorb all the bodies, especially when it's dolls or souls, so that wave two doesn't um, uh, revive them, and they come running up on you without you knowing or like without you seeing it. And while you're already throwing hammers, it, it's so dangerous. So for that reason, I usually clear the room with redemption, so there's no bodies left to to revive. Um, yeah, and. Uh and then uh, we we got um, I use my oak sage a lot too from my Hoda, which I'll usually it's on it, it usually is on my L2 zero, um, circle, so that way I'll get a little bit extra life boost um, in in terms of tallying to veil. So I'll have that up when I tally to veil. That way I'm a little bit more safe and I don't have the same amount of of danger um, and the way that works is basically you bow yourself first and once you bow then you spawn him and I can't switch over to my CTA now because that will make him disappear but you see how my life just jumped up with a decent amount like almost 600 more life, 600 more life which is enough to wear so here we got a conviction you see how my fire rate is still super high the lightning is a little bit lower and the cold is a little bit lower, but I don't feel like it matters too much with those two. It's more so the fire is I'm afraid of. Um, so that's that's the whole idea, is you want to stack enough to where if you do get into trouble, you, you still have a decent amount of XP beyond the conviction or lower rest. Uh, yeah, so let's do a quick run. I like to do the seal popping method when I do gas just because it speeds up the process a lot and you, you tend to 
have a better chance of dropping good items if you clear areas faster. Right? Like the faster you can clear an area and kill all the monsters, the higher the chance of dropping an iron or dropping something in value. Although when you do seal pop, the seal pop enemies doesn't your magic line won't apply to them. But that really don't matter in my opinion, because you're looking for high runes more so than anything else, so high runes don't take magic by fine. So it doesn't matter. And that's why I like to use that method. Now I always clear these the two um, squares, the one I the one I'm at here and then the one over here. I always clear those two for enemies just because I won't be having enough time to tell you back around here. And actually uh, ah they are not Yeah, I don't have enough time to come up here and activate the enemy and then tell you over when I want to take out or tell you around the starting area where I came from where I didn't kill anything, you notice? So that's, that's my preferred way of, of doing these runs. And you'll, you'll be able to clear chaos super fast. You know? See, that's a little bit dangerous. I don't like the spawn, the new spawns on you know, the base. I can literally spawn right the steel feels very dangerous and see and now we have lower rates. So I don't really kill these guys that much because these guys will die when I pop the seal, right? So I just go over here. Gonna pop the seal, we're gonna come up here. We're gonna kill all these guys. There we go. Then we're gonna tell you back to not enough getting upstairs right here. That's what you don't want to happen right there. You don't want to have to go around like I just did because it's going to give you less loot, right? And let's see if I actually got any of the starting area loot. I did get some of it. As you see, there's no magic find applied to any of these enemies who died right here. But as I said, it really don't matter because you're just looking for the high ones. Those enemies, and then you get to kill the, the rest of them and, and look for... good items, right, like the, the uniques and the yellows and, and whatnot. Stay a while and listen. And you can do pretty much all the terror zones. There are a couple you can't do, or I wouldn't do, but most of them I can. And for instance, doing stuff like Durance of Hate, I wouldn't, pr like, I don't ever do that. Don't ever do sewers. Those places are simply littered with with uh, dolls, and dolls are just my biggest uh, problem. I think that that's the major issue I have with this build. It takes like a couple of them, one or two, and then uh, it takes like one or two hits, and, and that's it. Right? It's not fun to die on something super high level with really good gear to something that you can't really control that well. Yeah. Hopefully at some point in the future they'll nerf the damage on them a little bit. So I'm not saying they need to nerf them into the ground or anything, just like they get a little bit of a nerf so it doesn't, it doesn't get into the problem where you lose me and you die to lose me because you get hit once. Which is kind of a bug that's going around at the moment. I don't think it's meant to be like that, but it, it really slows when, when that happens. It happened to me twice, um, on level 53 and on level 94, which is level 53 you can live with, level 94 it, it's, it's locked. very demotivating to play the game afterwards. I've had a hard time getting back into it due to that, that reason. So I'm, I'm slowly but surely getting finding my way back. Yeah, so this this should at least showcase pretty much 
how nice this is to use. Uh, I know this is players one. Even though it's players one, I'm still getting more experience from doing this than I was doing um, the old method we used to do. Because grinding uh, 99, which would mean you did Nila, you did Bail, you did Diablo all in one game to maximize your experience. And then you would come out at the other end with roughly, I would say, close to 100k. It could be either under or a little bit above, depending on XP size and how many leads you get to kill and stuff Hello. like that. So, I, um, I like to... I like to, um, to to keep him as he is right now, just pushing as hard as I can, and don't, I don't want to over push. I don't want to go for crazy terra zones. I don't want to go for bad terra zones where there's no monsters, and and there's a lot of those in my opinion, a lot of bad ones. But stuff that. I prefer to do is stuff like Bridget when um, blood, uh, Bloody Foothills or, or Eldritch, no, Eldritch and Shank is super nice because you can do it super fast. You get almost 100k per run solo, which is basically like doing a bail run back in the day on the old method. Um, and I feel like that's very decent. Another place that is super good but dangerous is Halls of Pain, gives you a great experience. Bill is my favorite for sure. Don't do Bill himself. Just do the waves, leave. Next game, waves, leave. That way you'll maximize your XP. And you can get literally like a million per run. Which, let's say a run takes like 2 minutes and, and 30 seconds, maybe 3 minutes. Beforehand, to get a million would take me an hour, maybe, maybe even an hour and a half. Um, now it takes some minutes uh, and another good place is out of steps I kind of like that chaos of course is super nice um, river of flame is decent uh, flare jungle is really nice and um, I've done a lot of trav and co on my barb no I wouldn't say trav and mephisto is the best of XP but it is it is nice for drops I do like the halls of the dead as well as arcane and tombs. Um, I would say are some of the best ones. Um, also, really, catacombs is not too bad. You have a decent amount of enemies in there. Now, the XP is not nearly as good as, let's say, bail or or chaos runs, but it's still pretty decent XP. It's not bad. Um, yeah, and as I said, using Sunders is simply just not worth it when it comes to doing uh, a magical or a physical character. I would never use that. It just seems like too much of a punishment to put on compared to what you gain when you have a mercenary. That's pretty decent. It, it doesn't need to be GG by any means. You can I'll show you my mercenary right now. So I'm rocking a treachery, a inside and a Tal's mask and that's plenty to to have him do a decent amount of damage right like he's doing he's doing two to to eight K damage basically which is enough to where he can kill stuff fairly fast um, yeah and he does stay alive for the most part um, of course if he has lower res or if he is hit by conviction or something like that and he gets hit by a, a high tier enemy he will die but it's it feels like he's really nice and he's he's staying alive for the most part especially once he gets hit with the fade from the treachery and yeah that's um, that's basically it man that's the build I highly suggest if you do choose to do hardcore when you start him out start him out as a fist of heavens build it's way cheaper to do and it provides you with conviction don't use a sunder charm 
for for your fist of heavens because it'll put the efficiency of conviction down to 20% only compared to having a full 100% um, efficiency out of it. So for that reason, I never I, I wouldn't use that. I'll use it for a fire build, for a coal build, sure, but anything else in the game, I feel like it's the punishment is not worth it. Um, yeah, that's that's all I have to say about that. I think I do hope they change this around. Now, I kind of like the terror zones. I feel like they need to nerf the amount of experience you get because. Um, looking at the, the leaderboards and, and looking at at that kind of stuff, you can you can see that there is a lot more level 99s at this point than there was last ladder, right? At this point, last ladder, though, I'm we might have had four or five level 99s, and if we look at the list, there is like we're already at way past 20 99s. So I feel like it's it's a little bit too easy. Um, yeah, I, I feel like it could have been cut down to half the experience, pretty much, and it would still be worth it. It it would still be a lot faster, and it would still be super nice. Um, so that's my feeling on the on the new update. Is I feel like they kind of missed the opportunity, right? So they could have done something that would have helped the casual players and let the pro players per se consistently feel like they're actually having to do something for the XP and it's not just given to you for free. Um, yeah, so I'm currently level or rank 112 or uh, 312 and if you look here you can see um, I there's my dead one <laughs> right here uh, he's been dead for a long time now um, so I just passed him right now I could have passed him way before but I needed a break I was burning out on it after dying um, so that's why I haven't been going super hard lately I'm, I'm taking it really really slow but yeah, that's it. I appreciate you, you see it, or you watch the video, and I hope to see you in the next one.